Uh, last Monday was Monday and Monday were interesting. And despite the outcome today for, for you and your football team, we're proud and happy that, that you've been a part and participated in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. We greatly appreciate it. No, well, we thank you. Thank we're, you, it, thank it, you it's been, uh, it's just an honor and a privilege for us to be here. And um, this was a great experience for our team. We, uh, we, as you said, we didn't know if we were going to have a bowl game at all. And uh, to be able to, to uh, be selected by you and, uh, and this great team here in, in Memphis to, to represent West Point, to play a great opponent like, uh, like West Virginia, uh, we just we felt incredibly honored and and uh, and very grateful for the opportunity. Our our guys are are really proud to represent West Point. Uh, our our long gray line of graduates, the United States Army, and and uh, the way they the way they play with heart and effort and and uh, and determination is the same way that they're going to lead soldiers in the army and and uh, and the same way that they'll fight for the United States of America. So. Uh, I can assure you that uh, that these guys right here are going to serve our country well, and their classmates at West Point, the 4,400 cadets, uh, those are young men and women that have made a pledge of commitment to serve this nation. And I'll, I'll tell you for sure, this country's in good hands with leaders like them. So we're proud to be here, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Jeff. We'll go about 10 minutes with, with questions. Okay, Greg, go ahead. So, Coach, offensively for you guys, it looked like West Virginia took away your dive and your fullback up the middle, um, and, and you had success, though, after that on the outside. Was it the Stills brothers and trying to get them blocked? Was that your biggest problem in trying to run up the middle? Well, we, uh, we found a, a few spots in there in different formations where we could run the fullback and, and get the ball inside. We, had, uh, we ran some of the belly G where the quarterback was following the fullback and, and got some yards, but – those, are, those guys are good players up there, and they were very disruptive. Um, you know, early on, where we uh, we were going on on a, a hard count or on two, they were running up the field on us, and that that was you know it was apparent that they were they were going on the snap count just like our offensive linemen. So we had to do something to kind of slow them down, and and that that did, and that helped us a little bit. Uh, we found some spots on the perimeter. Um, they're uh, they, they're so athletic. Those those guys. Those two guys are both really good players, and they were they were really giving our quarterback some muddy reads on the midline, and uh, and so we and we had to we had to kind of get some other stuff going, and we found uh, we found a few plays on the perimeter that uh, that allowed us to to make some yards, and we hit the the play action pass there, and the on the drive in the fourth quarter, unfortunately, just you know couldn't threw it to our tight end, and probably if he threw the wheel route, I talked to the, to the quarterback, and and it, he saw the his first read is the post, and he threw the post, but uh, the kid on the perimeter might score, you know. And we, they were they were so uh, they were so heavy on the run that that uh, that that popped open for us, and you know was, there were some things, but we just couldn't consistently do it. You know, the last third and three. Um, we, we, we have, uh, an analytics company that, that helps us. And it, it was a go for it at fourth and three, but we got zero yards on third and three. And, uh, I want to kick myself right in between the seat of my pants, uh, for not going for it on fourth and three, it's said for us too. And I guess had we made the field goal, I'd feel better, but, you know, even if we make the field goal, it's going to give them some time to score. So, um, you know, they just, they made some plays. They, they made plays in every phase that helped them win the game and, uh, and, and give them credit. You know, they made the stops on defense. They got two, uh, they were down 11 points, got two touchdowns and uh, got an onside kick. You know, they did some things that, uh, you know, were very bold and, and, uh, and they did a good job. All credit to them. They're a very talented football team, a well-coached team, you know, much respect for, for Coach Brown and and uh, and their staff and those players, so our guys fought their hearts out. They played as hard as they could play. They believed all the way to the end that we were going to win, and we we got the ball back with a chance, just couldn't quite do enough. Charles, uh, yes, good evening, Coach. Uh, tough loss, um, close out the season. Uh, I know that you won't use the fact that you had several key players out today as an excuse, 
Uh, but did it change anything that you might have done on either side of the ball today? Oh, I don't know if it if it changed. Um, obviously, when you have players that are a big part of of your offense and defense, kicking game included, um, it changes you some. But uh, I think we we had a really good plan. I think our guys tried to execute and and. Uh, and, and execute the plan that the coaches uh, put in place. Our staff did a terrific job. Um, Nate Wood, he's a heck of a football coach and he's just done a great job. He and the defensive staff with, with that side of the ball all year. And, and I thought today they did a great job. Um, and we had for the, uh, the Army Navy game and for the Air Force game, we had, you know, 40 to 50 players that weren't available for one reason or another. And, uh, it was the same today. Uh, now that's that's our entire roster. But you know, Charles, you watch watch us all the time, and you follow us as closely as anybody. And you know, there's some recognizable faces that weren't out there. And it, I don't know if it changes what we do, but it, it, those are guys with experience that you'd like to have in the game. And but that's not why we lost. They they at West Virginia beat us, and we didn't do enough. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Charles. Ken McMillan. Um, Jeff, what would be the, you know, what, aside from the field goal decision, what are the things that you would like to get back? No, I don't know. I mean, it, it, every time there's a call and it doesn't go like you want it to, you like to go back and say, I wish we would have called this. I wish we would have called this play or I wish we would have called this defense. Um, you know, that, that's, uh, that's just a decision I've got to make there. And I have that choice, but you know that's um, like I said, on third and three, we're going to go for it on fourth and three. But when you get zero yards and there's 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 really a bubble there, the 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 formation we were in, there was an open B gap, and we had a bunch of blockers, including the B back out in front of him, and 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 West Virginia just whipped blocks. They beat blocks and got themselves where they needed to be to, to make the play. And they did that a lot today. You know, I, I, I saw the halftime stats. They always hand me a stat sheet. We were up 14 to 10. I think we had 83 yards of total offense and we're up 14 to 10. So we were very fortunate to be in the position that we were. And we got the, the fumble late and, uh, and got the score there before halftime, which was a huge play. I had a great drive to start the second half and you know, really just weren't able to sustain anything uh, other than that drive. We, we pushed it down there at the end. Um, and like I said, when, when, when you've been punting a lot and not being able to gain three yards very consistently, I mean, if we, if we had plays we could gain three yards, we'd call those plays all the time. We just keep gaining three yards, but you know, that, that didn't happen. We got some negative yardage plays. We got some zero yardage gains. Um, and so at that juncture, I just, we talked about it on the phones. And uh, I think everybody was in support of kicking the field goal, obviously, after we missed it. You know, I beat myself up over it. But uh, it's going to be hard to gain three yards, probably the way things have been going. So um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, Ken. I don't know what I'd change. I think Nate Woody's a heck of a football coach. Cody, Wor Cody Worley called the plays today. It's the first time in his career he's done that. And I think he, think he did a heck of a job. And our kids played their butts off against a really talented football team. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm disappointed that we lost the game, but it was a, it was a heck of a year. And, and I'm not gonna let that tarnish my memory of, of a great season and just a great bunch of young men that I, that I love dearly. They, they, have, they have played as well together and, uh, and I've enjoyed coaching this team as much as I have any team in 32 years. All right, Ken, last question. So just wanna ask uh, about the uh, two punts in the, in the third quarter after you score the touchdown uh, to go ahead 21 to 10. Uh, it seemed like you really struggled against uh, against the West Virginia defense having a punt a couple of times. Uh, what did what did they change that made it difficult in the second half, latter part of the third, in the third quarter? Oh, they did, they they really didn't change anything, Ken. They were playing multiple fronts. 
So give them credit. They, they, they didn't practice a long time for this game. They didn't have two and three weeks to get ready for it. They had, uh, you know, several days, but, but they played a lot of different fronts. And, uh, and so we never could really settle into anything. Um, we knew what they would line, you know, some of the formations we knew how they would align after a while playing them all, all game. And uh, we tried to call plays that we felt would be successful against those looks, including that third and three before the field goal try. Mm. I mean, there's a bubble there and, uh, and, and really we ought to be able to gain some positive yards there, but you know, they didn't, they didn't change anything. They just, they just beat blocks and they did that pretty consistently throughout the day. And, uh, talk about athleticism and speed and you know they've got it they've got a lot of it and and so uh you know give them credit it was just uh it was just really good play on their part thank you, thank coach. you coach that's it we can move on to to players now thank yeah. you coach.